Welcome back to another industry report and for the next two weeks I won't be doing any game maker studio related content so if you're into that I have to disappoint you I will be leaving to Russia tomorrow for two weeks so if you don't see me responding to you and well you see those kind of videos well I'm not here so I can't respond to you so just keep that in mind then now we come to the interesting topic are we heading to the next video game crash and that is actually an interesting question I just want to just give you a brief overview what the actual last crash was it was just between 1983 and 1985 and they had lots of competition between well, companies like Atari, Commodore, Amiga and the winners of that well fall out because all those well old companies are pretty much nuked from the earth you see today which is Sony, Sega and Nintendo and all the other ones well are pretty much gone and for example Sega just survives with one leg what I mean by that well they used to have their own console and now they just produce those nice um, Sonic games which are uh, love by the critics and the players so just keep that in mind of course they do a lot of other great games so you shouldn't put that under the rug but the Sonic games Jesus Jesus what have they done there so um, what am I basing on this is a video about if you are an indie developer or just a person who wants to know a little bit about the industry for now and how well are games selling on PC for the Steam store so if you're just looking for the other one let's say Epic Store and the other ones this is just completely cut out because I'm just talking about a nice report from this guy Mike Rose a link in the description to his Twitter and to this to this report and he's selling well how, how well are PC games selling on in 2019 spoiler not great and that is actually a good spoiler so if you think that the golden ages are still there for you just well dump your game on the steam store and everybody will uh, well, play it even though maybe it's good or the best game ever it doesn't really matter for now well that time is over how can you illustrate that well for example um i just went for the newly released games and that is 25 for one day just keep that in mind 25 new games a day and most of them well how can i say that in a nice way uh let's say not the highest quality game so this could be triple a best case or i don't know um some indie stuff i guess just I don't want to be derogatory because a lot of people just put their love in there but for example if I see stuff like this what the hell is that 170 bucks for a game and it's five times there what the hell but uh, it's not my well I cannot say anything to that because I guess they have the reason to put that in and just keep that in perspective so for example here we're having roughly 60,000 games on Steam who has time to sort through that amount of games? Just impossible. And the Steam store has been completely overflown. And that, well, has, has a lot of, uh, or has a huge impact on how many copies you are selling. And the point is of this uh, well, report is to how well games are selling on Steam. And here, he took out some noise, which is quite good because he took out AAA games, which are pretty much the dominant factor will always stay the dominant factor and for games which had less than five or ten reviews so just comments on I don't know for example if you're going to a game then people say hey, it's good it's not good and he took down the noise and then from those 900 games on uh, July 5 to August 6 900 games released which is just like crazy uh, 170 games were actually well uh, checked through which is still okay but 170 games in a month that's just sheer madness and 
then he did some some well statistics here and just did, did some medians and well as you can see one of the most crushing thing is um, that the sales are going down by 70% from the last year and of course if sales go down well your income your revenue goes down too and the next thing which he just discussed which is um, a thing as well is the pricing so for example if you're pricing your game below than uh, lower than 10 bucks well your revenue and your copies will go significantly down for example if you're play well giving let's say 15 bucks to 20 well your revenue goes up and paradoxically your copies sold go up as well but keep that in mind for example people won't be buying a game for 15 16 or 20 bucks if it looks like ass just keep that in mind if your game isn't good and no well don't want to be offensive to people who put their love in there completely forget uh, while well, pricing it at that point so there's a sweet spot there depending how good your game is and how much people well are willing to pay for that so just keep that in mind so is the gaming crash going to continue or well come to a second well phase no basically the gaming industry is very healthy uh, even though you're seeing lots of like, people who are just like shitting all over and saying like oh Activision did this and and uh, EA is doing that and so on and so on but they're healthy just keep that in mind but if you're an indie developer um, things are tightening up so only the best ones will survive here which is a thing which is happening on YouTube as well it's the same with content creators so just keep that in mind Hopefully that was of interest to you and see you in the next one. Have a good one.